Okay, there's a lot of text in this question. The main thing is we've got this triangular prism. It's the roof of a toy building. Um, and then we're told that AB equals BC. That's going to be useful. The lengths of AC and CF were given on the diagram, as well as the height. Okay, everything's in terms of X or a Y as well. We're then told that the total surface area of the five faces is 600 centimetres squared and the volume of the roof is V. We're being asked to show that the volume is actually this, all in terms of X. So this is an application, it's a differentiation problem. Right, first things first, what should we do? We've got, um, got, to, we've got the volume, so maybe let's write the volume down. The volume is going to be the area of this cross section here. So this is x. So it's going to be half base times height. So a half 2x times x. That gives me the cross section. And then I can times by the length, which is y. And that's going to become x squared y. So it remains to find out what y is and substitute it in terms of x and substitute it in, get rid of it. So we've got an equation in terms of x. Right, this is going to be where we need to use the surface area because we are given that the surface area is 600. So I might just uh, borrow this diagram. and work out the surface area. Okay, so the front is going to be what we just worked out a minute ago. It's just going to be a half x times 2x, so it's going to become x squared. And the back, if I've dealt with this, the back is the same. Bottom is going to be y times 2x, so 2xy. And then the left hand side, we dealt with the bottom, left hand side is this bit here, and then we got the right hand side, they're going to be the same. Oh, I need to, I need, this is going to be a bit more involved now, okay. So I need to work out this missing length here. Now I can split, I've got an isosceles triangle here, so I can split it into a right angle triangle, two right angle triangles rather. This is x, and this here is x. And we can use Pythagoras' theorem. It must be that this is the square root of x squared plus x squared, which is the square root of 2x squared, which is root 2x. So that is the length BC. Okay, so now the left hand side is going to become root 2x times y. And finally, the right hand side is also the same. Okay, we now know that the surface area is 600. So I can add all of these up. And I'm going to get 2x squared plus 2xy plus 2 root 2xy, because I've got two lots of this, is equal to 600. Um, what did it say? Okay, we're going to have a third here. Well, I need to work out what y is. That's the main thing. So I'm going to rewrite it. I can factorize the y out of these two. It's going to become 2x plus 2 root 2x y equals 600 minus 2x squared. I've done a few things with that. I've minus 2x squared from both sides, and then I factorized out this y. I just happened to put it at the end. And therefore, y is going to equal... 600 minus 2x squared 
all over 2x plus 2 root 2x. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. Because all I'm interested really in is the volume. And the volume, if you remember, is this x squared y. So it's going to become x squared times this thing here. I am, however, going to factor, I should have done this before, I'm going to factorize a 2x out. So it's going to give me 1 plus root 2. Now that's looking better. Okay, I should have done that before. Now this x will cancel with that there. And also the 2 will cancel. I'm not going to, yeah, I am. I'm going to cancel the 2 out now. So that's going to become 300 and that's going to go there. And I can time through by the x, so it's going to become 300x minus x cubed all over 1 plus root 2. This question is harsh because if you don't work out k, then it's going to be, it's going to be challenging. You're going to lose marks on b, c, and d, but um, that's just how it is. Right, we're not quite there, so we need to show that it's in the form kx. 300 minus x squared. Actually, we're, we're looking pretty good. I, I need to factorize that um, x back out to make it look like the answer wants it. Okay, now the only thing I've not sorted is that I'm timesing by a constant, k, where k is in the form root a plus b. Essentially, this is saying you need to rationalize this denominator. So I'm going to times by, um, actually I'm going to times by root 2 minus 1, because I know that this one's greater than 1. And if you if you want, I'll, I'm going to swap these around to root, write it root 2 minus 1. If you don't do that, it's okay, you'll just end up with uh, more negatives. So this is going to become root 2 minus 1 x 300 minus x squared all over and then I'm I'm cross I'm cross multiplying like double brackets I'm going to get 2 minus root 2 plus root 2 this is exactly why I've done this because these cancel minus 1 2 minus 1 is just 1 so I am left with my final answer root 2 this is v root 2 minus 1 x 300 minus x squared. Okay, there are a lot of steps for these six marks, but I've done I've shown it. I've got k in the form root a plus b. I've determined what a and b are. I don't need to I don't need to say that a is two and b is one. It's it's implied in there. Okay, that's the that's the hardest bit of this question for sure. Um you can still even if you can't get that, you can still get marks it's just i think you're probably going to lose marks if you think if you don't have your value of k so use differentiation to determine the value of x which the volume of the roof is a maximum do you know what i think i need to bring the question down Okay, so now I actually have to, um, I do have to expand it out a bit. So it's going to become root 2 minus 1 um, times 300x. Minus root 2 minus 1 x cubed. So to find, to differentiate dv by dx, 
it's going to become root 2 minus 1 times 300. I, I probably should have put the 300 before, then I wouldn't need to put the times, but okay. Minus 3, let's do it here. 3, I bring in the 3 down and then reduce 1 from the power. And this is equal to 0 for the maximum. Okay, and that, that's great, because now it's equal to zero. I can divide through by that third, which has been plaguing me. I can just write down that 300 minus 3x squared is equal to zero. So I can divide through by 3. 100 minus x squared equals zero. x squared equals 100. x equals plus or minus 10. Reject minus 10 since less than zero. Because this is a physical problem, we can't have a negative link. Therefore, x equals 10. And that's it. Brilliant. The C, find the maximum volume of the roof, correct the nearest integer. So now we're going to substitute it back into here. Uh, centimeters cubed, everything is in centimeters, so we're okay. going to do the 10 times this is going to be 100 so it's going to be 10 times 200 so I'm going to get 2000 times root 2 minus 1 Eight two eight point four two seven. Always good practice to just write a little bit more than you need and then round it as required, nearest integer. Now, very final part of this question, we are asked why for this root x must be less than a certain value which you should state. So we need to look back through this. It doesn't look like it's being restricted here by the volume. Um, you know, x has to be positive, we know, but why does it have to have a maximum value? Well, I think the answer lies here, and it's for the value of y. So y must also be positive. Whilst x is always positive, the denominator is going to be positive. This numerator is 600 minus 2x squared. And you can see if x was like a million, then this would become negative. So it must be that 600 minus 2x squared is, remains greater than 0. So y greater or equal to 0. So we require 600. I mean, technically, it doesn't make any sense if it's equal to zero. So technically, 600 minus 2x squared must also be greater than zero. That means that 2x squared must be less than 600 or x squared must be less than 300. Now we know that x is positive, so we don't need to think about the negative square root or anything. It must 
be that x is less than root 300, because that is the answer for this question. Okay, tough one there, lots to do, lots of maths involved. Creating an equation, which we have a third, we have to rationalize the denominator, um, finding the surface area, yeah, to do that. Differentiating, to be fair, the b and c are probably the nicest parts, differentiating. If you don't have k though, then your answer can be in terms of k. Get the maximum volume, that's okay once you've got x, and then this sneaky little bit at the end, um, you just need to be aware of. You know, if you if you get something like this, just like look back through. It's not immediately obvious, I don't think. You might not think it when you're when you're doing this question, but yeah, just look at look at what we have to have. We have to have x is positive and y is positive. 